Hello, welcome back to the Rosabeth Moon Motivation Podcast. My name is Rosabeth, and if you are joining, I am very grateful that you're here, and I'm sorry to say that this is the last episode of this podcast. I have a lot of explaining to do. I've made this video over and over and over and over again, just trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to say. And I decided I'm just going to free script it because that's when I do my best. So I disappeared from this channel for quite a while. And the reason was because... I started getting hate on every single video, every single one. I started getting, I started getting just really nasty comments and it really started to mess with me and I'm, I'm going to be honest, I haven't been bullied since early high school, freshman year when someone tried me in the cafeteria and I made a statement and I didn't get bullied again. And it really, really hit me really hard because all I ever wanted for this podcast and this channel was to help you help yourself feel better. And I knew that starting this, I was going to get quite a bit of triggered brains, right? Because we talked about that in multiple episodes, how the brain will get triggered. And I knew that this would happen, but I took it incredibly personal. That's lesson number one that I learned was other people's hatred and other people's shadows coming at me and being directed towards me is not a me thing. In fact, it's something that I genuinely learned that I feel sympathy for and to those of you that commented hate on my videos when all I was trying to do was help people I want to say one thing to you I see you I hope that you finally get some help mentally I hope that you finally start to love yourself and I hope that you finally get to the point where you no longer have to look for hatred and validation from others on the internet I sympathize with you and I hope that you find some type of content that actually will help you because it's clear that you and I aren't meant to vibe together I hope that you get a lesson from this because my second lesson that I learned was you know what's the most hilarious part of this whole thing is that I created the Rosabeth Moon Motivation Podcast to be oh, oh, hair flip stuck in the stuck in the rings. I created this podcast to be as inclusive as possible because I never wanted to leave anybody out. But what ended up happening was that I started leaving myself out of it. I am such a spiritual person. I'm such a strong and powerful person and I have amazing talents where I connect with the universe and where I sympathize and I just want to help people help themselves and I also want to help the planet right like I have such amazing gifts and I wasn't able to share them through the podcast because the podcast was focused on healing your trauma well my trauma is healed the podcast was focused on helping yourself feel better well I already felt better and so as I kept trying to write these episodes and kept trying to formulate this idea of what and how I could help people, I accidentally reopened up wounds that I had already healed. And, you know, getting hated on while I re-tear open old wounds that had a little bit of healing left, you know, sent me down a spiral. It just happened to also be during the um, eclipse that just happened here in the United States. So it was a shadow time within spirituality. It was a shadow time within myself. And, you know, it just hit me. And 
I did a tarot reading. I did what they call a paths reading, where I have two decks and I say, okay, this is the path I take with one, this is the path I take with my other. The results were, was that Rosabeth Moon Motivation Podcast and Moon Magic Botanicals, my skincare company, both would result in just turmoil, sacrifice, very small abundance day, but mostly scarcity. And it's like I knew that deep down because I wasn't able to fully be myself and I was getting hated on anyways. And at the very last episode, I cried before I filmed that I'm not about that life. I'm not doing this. I'm not filming myself and filming my thoughts and filming my life and creating this career to help people to help to hate myself. What? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I refuse. I'm not doing that. I want to do this to love me, but to also love you guys and to love my life and be able to create an experience and <sighs> something that Isaac Misrahi a famous fashion designer said was boo hoo you got bullied so what and you know I had a very similar stance said to me at the beginning of my weight loss journey and that triggered the whole thing and that really had me sit with myself and think for a minute yeah it's the internet Philip DeFranco um He's a famous news host on YouTube. He's one of the OG YouTubers. He was like, one of his 10 commandments of the internet is to not say anything kind on the internet because all you'll get is hate. And when I mixed those two together and really sat on it and really thought about it for a good minute, you know, that's so sad. The fact that you can't be kind on the internet because it triggers people's little bitty shadows that they never got saw as a child that's why people hate on you let's jump back to every single episode before this right the why behind the what when people hate on you psychologically it's just them mirroring what they say to themselves or have been said to themselves when they have been tried to create or do something similar as a child if you are not worshipped as a kid, if you were not nurtured, if you were not grown up in this really good environment, it can be really difficult to love yourself, be okay when you see other people thriving, be okay seeing other people actually chase their dreams, right? It can be, it can be horrible. And that's where they're coming from. They're just broken little children. So here's the results of this is that this is the last episode of the Rosabeth Moon Motivation Podcast. We've talked on this channel before and we know that change is inevitable. I already had an episode about how this podcast changed and here's why. I was letting people's opinions impact myself and I was letting other people's judgment and stories affect mine and how I curated mine instead of letting myself curate my own path. I still didn't allow myself to fully be my true self. And so how can I help people before I help myself? So I took time off and this is a new outcome. I learned that Moon Magic Botanicals is no more. I learned that Rosabeth Moon Motivation Podcast is no more. I learned that I need to completely be myself and no longer be scared of what other people think about me because inevitably I'm going to attract the people that learn from me. I'm going to attract the kind people. I'm going to attract the people that want to actually learn more about themselves and stand up for themselves and show that they can be themselves without really truly having other people's impact them but simultaneously learn and sympathize with those people i'm gonna attract what i am and so 
my channel is turning into a spiritual eclectic channel because I am an eclectic spiritual gal. <laughs> I built Rosabeth Moon with a simple mission of helping yourself and the planet. All I truly want to do in the end of everything is to help people understand that they can help themselves first and they can also help the planet and it's not that difficult. It's not that hard to understand what you're doing and what the planets are doing around you to help you. And that's a little foreshadowing. Here's my new channel. I'm going to be posting monthly astrology news and reels about what's going on in the cosmos that might be affecting you and how you can empower yourself through that. And yes, I am an amateur astrologer. I have been literally waking up to watch astrology events since I could remember. Since the very first meteor shower that I could remember, I believe I was around three years old and I just was enthralled with it. So helping you and how is I going to help you? Well, I'm going to tell you when you feel in some types of ways, you might not be as crazy as you think. Something might be going up, up, up on in the cosmos that might be affecting you. So we're going to be jumping into that and simultaneously... I'm a spiritual eclectic, right? I can't help myself. I'm going to be doing week ahead astrology readings where we go into a little quick deep dive on what the week ahead is going to be for you and how it's going to be impacting you and your week in a simple tarot and oracle card reading. And I'll also be doing reels on it and just super simple, really quick and fast ways to have an idea of something you need to keep in mind, remember, etc. And also the third type of episodes I'm going to do are going to be, I just want to do them. I'm going to do a series of me talking about astrological events that impact you, aka Mercury retrograde, when there is meteor showers in the area, when Saturn re-returns, stuff like that. And I'm simultaneously going to be talking about, I'm an eclectic spiritual, we're talking about this, I'm going to be including on my website the same articles about them including what crystals to work on or to help within this and what tools you can use to help you through these hard times i'm so excited i'm so excited i now have a shop on rosabethmoon.com the moon has three o's in it just like the show it's a shop because what i realized was that Part of the problem with me just and only pushing myself to only do skincare stop myself from being as eclectic in myself as possible. And it also, some people genuinely have sensitivities to anything on their skin. While it helped me and other people in testing, some of them still got left out. And it really, really impacted me. So what I decided to do was um, get a fragrance master helped me develop new candles that we're coming out with so we're coming out with an aromatherapy line aromatherapy candle line for those of you that can't have skincare you can still get the calming benefits of lavender and orange and cedar and we're also coming out with just really yummy fragrance master lines collections um, called the dark wood and infernal contract they're so good. They're on rosabethmoon.com. And I'm going to be keep adding new and new stuff because I am in test markets right now. We are currently in one store in Asheville, North Carolina, which I'm immensely grateful for. And I am currently expanding my line, continuing uh, practicing, continuing test marketing, and continuing testing on humans never animals continuously building my company to stay sustainable and we are i'm so excited part of this part of my business i wanted to do was help people so charities are really deep to my heart <laughs> my my beautiful beautiful family raised me to donate to charities on a monthly basis and every single month on rosebethmoon.com portion of the proceeds from my shop will go to the charity of the month so i'm super excited about that please check that out 
And I just want to leave you all on a note for this being the last episode. Here's the deal. I was so afraid to be myself that it led me to following my dream and then... I didn't necessarily give up, but I had to let myself figure out some things. I had to let myself take a minute back and learn. And I realized that that's the only true thing that I can do for myself. And the lesson that I want to share with you is to sit back with yourself for a minute. If you're not happy with what's going on, you have the power of choice. You can change it. You don't have to stay the hangman. The hangman in tarot is essentially you're the one hanging yourself and you have the key to your shackles. You can get out of this. You can finally break yourself out of the cycle and change and become whoever you want to be. And I hope that you stay with me on this new journey. I hope that you continue having an open mind because I am still eclectic. So all religions are welcome here and all non-religions are welcome here. If you're satanic and agnostic, hello. If you're Christian and Buddhist, hello. And me, myself, I am a pantheist pagan. I'm out of the closet. Hello. (laughs) You're all welcome here. And if you don't like it, it's okay. It's not meant for you. It's not meant for you. If it's not meant for you, guess what? The only thing I have to say at the end of this is that I hope you find what works best for you. Because if we all had the same opinion, life would be boring. (laughs) Not for the last time on this channel, but for the last time for Rosabeth Moon Motivation Podcast. My name is Michaela Rosabeth. And I hope you have an amazing day.